Hello there ladies and gentlemen, thrill seeks of all ages, my name is Coaster Chal and welcome to Coaster Chal YouTube channel. <laughs> We've got Coaster Hour back on the show. Coaster Hour, how you doing? I'm doing pretty good, as always. Um, so, uh, I guess, yeah, I'm excited to talk about this coaster because I'm really close to it, so should be exciting. Yeah, hundred percent. Like I missed the initial announcement four year, like four hours before it was announced. Like four hours ago when it was announced, like I was still working, so I had no idea when this was announced. I had no idea they were going to do this today. I thought they were going to do this tomorrow on the Thursday. What are your first reactions to Wonder Woman: Flight of Courage? Um, as so obviously we've kind of known that this, this was going to be the type of coaster they were going to be getting, but it's great to finally see it get officially announced. Um, I think it's going to be a fantastic addition for Magic Mal, and it brings something completely new uh, to the park. And it's a really good replacement to Green Lantern, which having ridden it, it was not very good. So um, I'm super excited for Wonder Woman. And what I really like with what they're doing is it's not only just the coaster, they're revamping the entire, like the DC area, which is great. Um, it looks like they're going to have some nice landscaping. The only potential issue I have with this is that it's really close to Riddler's Revenge and the chain lift for Jersey Devil's really loud. And Riddler's Revenge is also already really loud. So now having two really loud close, uh, coasters right by each other, uh, that, that could be kind of a deafening sort of area to be in when you're just walking around. Um, but other than that, I think it's a fantastic addition. Yeah, hundred percent. I mean, first of all, the name Wonder Woman Flight of Courage. What's your? Do you think that they could have chosen a better name, or do you think that's the best name they could have gone for? Um, it's hard for me to say because I actually do like the logo. I am not a fan of the name, to be honest. I honestly would have preferred them even reusing Golden Lasso Coaster. I just think Flight of Courage. I don't know. It seems kind of, um, kind of. I mean, it is a comic book character, but a little corny. It seems like I, I feel like, but uh, I mean, at least it's original, so I'll give him that. Yeah, hundred percent. And the logo. I mean, I love the style of the logo. I don't know about you, but I love it. Oh, it's really nice. Uh, I mean, you have the the font. It's like kind of in like the newer kind of. Uh, kind of looks like kind of like the movie stuff they've been doing, so that's really nice. The logo looks really good, so uh, I'm definitely down for that. Yeah, me too, mate. And um, I mean, overall, then, I mean, do you think this could have been the best choice to replace Green Lantern First Flight and Tidal Wave, or do you think they could have gone with something a bit different? Ah, uh, man, I did last year. Uh, I actually did predict this coaster correctly before all the rumors and everything. I even got the Wonder Woman theme down, which that was a total shoot in the dark. Uh, that was like over uh, one and a half years ago. I have that video somewhere on my channel. But um, yeah, I would say this was probably the best edition uh, just in terms of everything. I myself probably would have rather seen an Axis coaster or a new generation Vekoma, but just for the general public and for the marketing I think a single rail makes a ton of sense. Um, so I, I do think it was the best possible addition. Uh, and I'm very intrigued to ride this coaster for sure.